Hello everyone. So now on topic five, we are going to begin dividing numbers. Okay. The first part we're going to look at though is dividing with zeros. So we're going to use patterns and mental math. Okay. Now all of these questions here, they might look like, oh, these are really big numbers. Teacher, I don't know how to do it. Let's break it down and then you're going to see that actually we're just using multiplication patterns, your times tables, and you already know this. The knowledge is already here. We're just going to show you in a different way what you're doing. Okay? Let's take our first question for example. Okay? So for all of these questions, we're going to use mental math and patterns to find the answer. Okay? 180 divided by 9. Now then, break it down step by step. Why don't we just look at the 18 and the 9? Can we do 18 divided by 9? Yes, we can. Our multiplication facts tell us that 9 times 2 is 18. So 18 divided by 9 must be 2. And now we have a zero left over, just add it onto the answer. Done. So 185 by 9 equals 20. It's just as simple as that guys. Just uh, divide the numbers, just divide the numbers and then add zeros at the end. But it's not just about adding all the zeros, you only add a certain amount. Let's take the next one. So let's take the 2 with the 2 and divide them. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. Any number divided by itself is just 1. Now then, we have 3 zeros on this side and only 1 on this side. There must be a balance. So what we're going to do, let's cross 1 zero from this side and then cross 1 zero from this side. So we're still balanced. If you take one from one side and one from the other side, still balanced. How many zeros left in the question? Only two zeros. Add it into the answer. That's it. Done. So 2000 divided by 20 equals 100. Let's take a look at the next one. Let's take the numbers only. 21 divided by 3. Okay. 21 divided by 3. Using mental math, you should know that this is 7. Or you can figure out what can I use with 3 to multiply it to make 21. 3 multiplied with 7 gives you 21. So 21 divided by 3 is 7. Now there's a 0 on both sides. Let's cancel 1 by 1. Now there's nothing left to the question, so the answer is just 7. Okay? So that means 30 multiplied by 7 will give 210. So what we're doing, divide the whole numbers and then you cut zeros from both sides in a balanced way until you can't no more. Then any zeros which are left, add it to the final answer. Like this one. Let's take the numbers only, 81 divided by 9. So you should know 9 times 9 is 81. Okay, now let's balance the zeros. I have 2 on this side and only 1 here. So let's cut this one. That means I can cut one more on that side. How many zeros do I have left? Just one. I get to the answer. That's all we're doing guys. Okay, let's take a look at the next part. 32 divided by 8. Only this part. So, 4, 8, make 32. 8, 16, 24, 32. So, 32 divided by 8 is 4. Now, let's cross zeros from both sides. Let's cross one from here and one from here. One from here, one from here. Do I have any more zeros that I can cross from both sides together at the same time? No. So, there's one zero left. Add it to the answer here. 
25 divided by 5, that's all we're doing. 25 divided by 5 is 5. Yeah, so you, because you know that 5 times 5 is 25. So you see, all of these numbers are just your regular times tables, guys. We're just looking at it in a different way. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. Now I have two zeros. There's no zeros here to cancel on both sides. So let's just take these and add it to the final answer. Done. Just the numbers 49 divided by 7. So 7 times by 7 gives you 49. So you're thinking about what can I multiply with the 7 to make this number? It's another way of looking at it. So 49 divided by 7 is 7. Now let's cancel zeros until we find one more. Cancel one from there and one from there. One from there and one from there. Done. So the zeros cancelled out perfectly on both sides. Nice and balanced. No need to add any zero to the final answer. So that is the final answer, seven. And the last question, 54 divided by six. Okay. So what number can we multiply with six to make 54? Or use the six times tables until you hit 54. Okay? 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54. Nine times. Right? So that means 6 multiplied by 9 is 54. Now let's balance some zeros. Cancel one from there and one from there. One from there, one from there. There's one zero left in the question. Let's add it to the answer. Okay, guys? So, with all of these questions today, just use your multiplication skills from your times tables to find the answer. And then, cancel zeros on both sides and add any remaining zeros at the end. That's all we're doing.